Jodie G. I've been teaching at Ellos Hall for 16 years now. I've been teaching the iMedia course for four years now. And I'm telling you now, you really need to take it up because it's a really good course. In year 10, students will study the two core units. R81 involves learning about pre-production documents such as mood boards, storyboards, mind maps and visualisation diagrams. You will be taught how to create these documents as well as analysing them. You will learn about file types, word plans, legislations and many more. You will sit an exam in January and June. The best grade will be used. For R8 too, this will be more like a creative eye media course. So you'll be teaching about DVD covers, exploring where and why digital graphics are used and the techniques. You will apply your skills and knowledge in creating digital graphics against a client brief. In year 11, you will study the two optional units. R87, which is a creative interactive multimedia product, where you will create an interface in PowerPoint. You explore where and why interactive multimedia is used and what features are needed for a given product. For R85, which is creating a multimedia website, you will use Muse, create a navigation bar, video, sound, and many other features to create a functional website against a client brief. Creative Eye Media course has been designed to engage young people with an interest in creative computing. For example, web page, web page design, digital graphics and interactive multimedia products. Students will obtain the knowledge and skill needed to produce attention-grabbing web and multimedia products such as web authorizing software, multimedia software, graphic software, video editing software and multimedia asset and navigation features. Learners will demonstrate the ability to design, build and test web and multimedia products in real life computer based scenarios. So, there are four units, three of them are based on control coursework in websites, interactive multimedia products and created digital graphics. One unit will be the written exam unit, therefore four units are worth 25% of the overall grade. So at the end of the course, you'll receive a distinction star, distinction, merit or a press at level two or one. In order to achieve the possible grade in Creative Eye Media, you need to have access to a computer at home with a strong internet connection. You need to ensure that you meet the controlled assessment and homework deadlines, work with commitment and have a positive attitude to solve problems, be a good team worker, willing to help others and also learn from them. So you need to be independent and a resilient learner. So if you achieve a merit or above, you will be able to study A-level computing related courses. Grade C or above will give you the opportunity to study level three courses, such as BTEC and ICT, engineering, computer graphics, or iMedia qualifications. Digital skills and knowledge are useful in whichever direction you choose to embark upon. Possible career choices are graphical design, web development, ICT engineering, and iMedia. So what are you waiting for? Make sure you pick Creative Eye Media.